This week, Vegan Bacon is launching in supermarkets. A vegan paid $230 to release a 100-year-old lobster back into the ocean. Sweden is so good at recycling, it literally has no trash. And find out all the details about Leonardo DiCaprio's latest global warming documentary. All that and more on Liv Kindly's Weekly Vegan News. A new brand of vegan bacon is on its way to supermarkets. The vegan bacon, it really tastes like bacon, like consistency and everything. Slutty Vegan is an Atlanta-based vegan burger joint with a mission to bring vegan food to communities that might not always have access to it. The brand hosts pop-up events that are frequently sold out. We get about 400 people who stand in line every single day wow. to get this food. Every day! And it's now venturing into the retail space with vegan bacon full of meaty flavor. We actively seek to dismiss the notion held by many we serve, that vegan food is either too expensive or too bland, the company says on its website. Slutty Vegan posted an image of the new bacon on Instagram. The product's packaging says the plant-based meat is made from non-GMO soy protein and offers a smoky flavor. It's low in sodium, has zero preservatives, and contains no trans fat. Coming up, this vegan paid $230 to set a 100-year-old lobster free. Costco has that giant three-pound tub of vegan cookie dough you've been looking for. Vegan cookie dough brand Eat Pastry took to Instagram earlier this month. We have big news. You can get our cookie dough in big tubs at select Costco. Y'all are getting the best deal of your life. The regular tubs of Eat Pastry cookie dough are 14 ounces each, so the new big tubs give you more than three times the usual amount. For now, it looks like Costco is only carrying the vegan chocolate chip flavor, but the brand has cookie dough to satisfy cravings for peanut butter, double chocolate, and snickerdoodle. Eat Pastry's dough bakes into oven-fresh vegan cookies in 10 minutes and can safely be eaten raw since it doesn't contain eggs. A 100-year-old, 23-pound lobster has been given another shot at life thanks to vegan Katie Conklin, who rescued the marine animal. The lobster, named King Louis, was caught by Rodney MacDonald in the Bay of Fundy in New Brunswick, one of eastern Canada's maritime provinces. MacDonald took the large animal to his family's seafood store, the Alma Lobster Shop. The business shared images of King Louis on Facebook, sparking conversation about what should be done with the lobster. Measuring four feet in length, King Louis is predicted to be about a century old. Conklin, who lives several hundred miles away in Nova Scotia, paid $230 to the family on the grounds that King Louis be released back into the sea. Speaking to CTV News, Conklin said she hopes the lobster lives out a happy life in his natural habitat and passes his genes on to the next generation. Research scientist Adam Cook told the news outlet that King Louis has a high chance of survival. Sweden is so good at recycling, it literally has no trash. Since 2011, less than 1% of Swedish household waste has been sent to landfill, and the Scandinavian nation has imported rubbish from other countries for several years to keep its recycling plants running. Anna Karen Gripwall, director of the Swedish Waste Management Recycling Association, told The Independent, Swedish people are quite keen on being out in nature, and they are aware of what we need to do on nature and environmental issues. We worked on communications for a long time to make people aware not to throw things outdoors so that we can recycle and reuse. Sweden's national recycling policy means that even though private companies import and burn waste, the energy is fed into a national heating network, warming up homes during the country's coldest months. Towns in Sweden independently invest in futuristic waste collection, the Independent said, such as automated vacuum systems in residential blocks. Underground container systems are also used, making more road space available and avoiding foul odors. Coming up, Leonardo DiCaprio releases a new movie about global warming. Animals were granted the same rights as humans in India. According to the India Express, the Punjab and Haryana High Court has given animals in Haryana the state of a legal person or entity. The ruling aims to protect and promote greater welfare of animals, according to Justice Rajiv Sharma, who wrote the order. He says that animals, including avian and aquatic beings, cannot be treated as objects or property. Sharma wrote a similar order last year for the Uttarakhand High Court. The ruling saw animals living in Uttarakhand recognized as legal persons. Like the Haryana ruling, the Uttarakhand order places residents as animal guardians. 
Academy Award-winning actor and environmental activist Leonardo DiCaprio just produced another movie about climate change. Called Ice on Fire, the new HBO documentary goes beyond the current climate crisis. Scientists have discovered solutions giving us a chance at reversing climate change. But the clock is ticking. Filming took place in Norway, Alaska, Iceland, Colorado, Switzerland, Costa Rica, and Connecticut to gain first-hand accounts from farmers, scientists, and innovators alike. The documentary is jointly produced by DiCaprio, his father George, and screenwriter Matthew Schmid. Lila Connors, who first collaborated with DiCaprio in the 2007 docudrama The Eleventh Hour, directs. DiCaprio, Schmid, and Connors have collaborated on several other green documentaries, including the 2014 series of environmental short films called Green World Rising. The scientific community has spoken. Climate change is happening now and is caused by human activity. 2017's We the People 2.0, but what they find is that the law is against them. We're living in a system that does not allow representative government at the local level. And 2018's Pollinators Under Pressure. That's it for today. What's your favorite environmental documentary? Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's Weekly Vegan News.